Hey everyone, it's Tim up in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia today. Had some rain over the last couple of days, but today is cloudy but sunny and uh, about 50 degrees Fahrenheit outside. That's actually shorts and t-shirt weather up here. So enough of that. I wanted to do a couple of things. First off, a reminder regarding the giveaway when I reach 250 subscribers. One winner will end up getting this 2019 Justice Sheffield Diamond Kings Auto autograph card. And as well, they will get this 2020 Top Series 1 rookie card, Jordan Alvarez. That will be when I reach 250 subs, subscribers, and uh, everybody will get an opportunity. I'll do a uh, spin the wheel. Last person standing will end up winning the prize. Actually, I won't be doing the wheel because I have too many, but I'll do a, a random.org. Okay, that's probably what I'll end up doing. We'll see. It'll work out one way or the other, but I will um, go ahead and give everybody an opportunity, all my subscribers uh, that have their subscriptions to uh, public. If they're private, I can't, I can't see that you subscribed. So anyhow, enough of that. So today, a lot of times I like to call it uh, Fat Pack Friday. I wanted to do something different today. It is really different. <clears throat> so I actually have to raise this up, the uh, camera. So up here in Canada, where I'm at, at the Walmart, they have these huge boxes. Uh, they're, they're pretty big. It's a championship collection. I'm wondering if this is kind of like a Fairfield some Canadian subsidiary or something along those lines. That's uh, kind of sounds like it, but it's got a little bit more in, in here. Um, it's got some pretty awesome packs and cards on the outside. I don't know if those are the ones that I will find inside, but uh, it says one plush. So that's one plush toy. So it's going to be... Uh, Something like that. It's going to be a, a Blue Jay because it's a Canadian product. How do you know it's Canadian? Because it's in French as well. That's not Spanish for my Southern California friends. Yeah, that's French. So they put everything in two languages when it's up here. So that's how you can tell if it's a, a Canadian product. So it's a Canadian product. You can't get it down apparently in the U.S. You can only get it up here in Canada. I only bought one of these boxes to open it up, see what it looked like and what might be inside. So anyways, you get one plush toy, you get one hobby pack. So there is a pack, a, a hobby pack inside, six factory sealed packs. I'm going to make a, a conclusion that includes the hobby pack, three bonus items, six cards includes one autograph or relic card. So, that was kind of neat. So I'll see what uh, what's inside, and uh, we'll go from there. So i got to put this thing back on its little tripod. I'll open that little puppy up. <clears throat> Again, this is a Canadian product. And like I said, it's because you can tell that when it's in French. All the products up here, uh, when you buy them in Canada, they are in two languages. Everything has to be in two languages. So that's one way when you come through the border, they can tell whether you're bringing something straight from the U.S. or if you got it here in Canada. Because uh, it will be in both French and, e and English if it is a Canadian, pro Canadian product. Okay, there's the plastic wrap. There's a lot of plastic wrap. Just in case there's something really nice, I've got my trusty uh, card sleeves just in case. So, let's get busy. Let's open this up. It's not Fat Pack Friday. It's uh, French Canadian, French Canada Friday, huh? Or A, as they say up here. So, this is kind of 
kind of interesting. So there's what it looks like when you open it up. Okay, that's it. Open this flap back. And, hey, this is actually kind of cool. All right, let's bring out the plush toy first. This is the mascot. I'll put it sideways so you guys can see it better. I kind of like that, you know? Stands about, oh, maybe about eight inches high. Eight to 10 inches, I'm gonna guess. Oh, look at that, 10 inches. So it's a 10 inch plush toy. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to actually enjoy that because I got to start rooting for the Blue Jays if I'm going to be living up here, right? Still got my Southern California roots. Still got my Canadian or my Southern California teams. Congratulations, Dodgers. But, uh, okay, um, I'm okay with that. That's actually better than I had expected as far as the plush toy. Now, this... Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, these must, this is a uh, flathead. So, okay, so it's a five by seven movable peel and stick, Major League Baseball vinyl graphics. I like, so it's one of these, uh, so it's only a five, se five by seven, but it's uh, one of these, here that you peel off and stick it and you can move them around and put them anywhere so you know that's kind of cool I've got an idea for those then I've got a pack of pinnacle not 2013 that's that's the hobby pack I don't know exactly what's in there here's a nice wow that's uh, Bowman chrome Oh, I'm sorry, Bowman Platinum. I thought it was Chrome, but it's Bowman Platinum. That is, uh, that would have been nice. It's 2018. So that's really nice. Here's the uh, 2018 Series 1, which is getting better and better as far as people you can find. Here's a 2019 Series 1. That's getting better and better. Here's another pack of 2018 Series 1. Here's another pack of uh, the Bowman Platinum 2018. Another pack, Bowman Platinum 2018. Another pack, 2019 Series 1. So it looks like that's what it's going to be. This here is another one of these. One, that's it. So I get one hobby pack, Pinnacle 2013. I've got one, two, three, four packs of 2018 Bowman Platinum. I've got two packs, 2018 Top Series 1 and three packs of 2019 Series 1. I have a <laughs> Big League Mini, ages three and above, so I'm gonna guess we all qualify. I got an idea who I might send that off to. And we also have a, oh my God, Okay, never mind. Well, actually, okay, I cheated. We've got cards in here. It looks like there's a few cards in here. In oh, I'm sorry. In this uh, in this dealio right here. Okay, so there's a few cards. There's a top. You can tell that. We'll open that at the end. So I'm actually so far okay with this. This has been. Uh, Actually, more than okay. Uh, let me do something here. Okay, so that's that uh, plastic thing that has a few cards in it. That must be the 
uh, six extra cards, six, yeah, it is, six cards, including one autograph or relic card, okay? That'll be last. So, I'll leave the hobby pack for last. Let's go ahead and do the 20, let's go in reverse order. Let's do 2019 Top Series 1. Okay, and we have Ray Black, rookie card. We have Jacob Nix, rookie card. Kyle Schwarber. Jose Abreu. Eddie Rosario. Marcus Stroman. Max Scherber. Scherzer, sorry. Kyle Barracloth. Luis Uri Luis Uri Urias. Rookie card. And Yadier Molina. Yadier, Yadier Molina. Wow, got my tongue all tied up here. So that's kind of neat. I think uh, what I'm going to do is... Put all the rookie cards because those are probably going to be the better cards to show out there anyways as far as best cards out of here all right that's what i'm thinking okay pack number two out of three for 2019 series one sam <laughs> tua viola that's my guess. Don't uh, don't hate me for that. Jose Ramirez. Uh, Washington Nationals, their uh, Nationals baseball park. Crack and jokes. Perez and Rizzo share a laugh for the Cubs. Oh. Javier Baez. Rich Hill from the Dodgers, World Championship Dodgers. Thank you. JT Romalto. No rookies in this one so far. Martin Perez, Matthew Boyd, and the last card, ah, Blake Snell. He's, uh, I think I've got his 2018. I think it was 2018, doesn't that mean he was a rookie? I'm pretty sure that was. I don't, uh, I was looking at that pretty closely. I don't think I, I didn't get a single rookie in that one, eh? No, no rookies. Okay. Third pack. 2019 Tops. Series 1. Adam Jones. Caleb Joseph. Sean Doolittle, Eric Hernandez, rookie card, Justice Sheffield. Hey, that's the, uh, remember, that's the, uh, one of the giveaways, Justice Sheffield autograph card from 2019, Diamond Kings, All Smiles, Pujols, and Betis, who actually is a Dodger. World Championship Dodgers, thank you. Josh Donaldson. Anthony Rendon, who's an angel. Framil Reyes, future stars. And Alex Gordon. So, out of 2019 Series 1, I'm going to have to say the best cards were probably the rookies that are in there. Um, probably just going to go with Justice Sheffield. I'll throw uh, Urias in here as well, as far as second, and go from there. That's my, that's my guess. Okay. Let me check that last set just to make, or last grouping of cards, pack of cards. Make sure I didn't miss another rookie card in there. Not going to be my first time. Okay, I have not. So that's it. Okay, that was it. 
Now, let's go to, nothing crazy in there. Let's go to 2018 Top Series 1. That is two packs, 10 cards each. I've got uh, a lot of these two, the 2019 Series 1 and this one pretty well Pretty well filled out, actually, as far as my collection goes. All right, Mark Trumbo. Dylan uh, Batances. Rookie card, Dylan Peters. Oh, here's a nice one. Andrew McCutcheon, 35th anniversary card. Buster Posey, an opening day card. Not worth much of anything. Joe Maurer. Who's on first? Rizzo and Harper. Cleveland Indians. Robinson Cano. Ramil Tapia. Ramil Tapia. Second pack, 2019, I'm sorry, 2018, Series 1, Anthony Rizzo, Clayton Kershaw, future Hall of Famer, world champion Dodgers, thank you, Jose Quintana, rookie card, Francisco Mejia, oh, here's a nice one, it's a foil, Clayton Kershaw, Los Angeles Dodgers. That's uh, World Championship Los Angeles Dodgers. Thank you. <laughs> you get tired of me saying that. Anyways, that's nice. That's a nice foil card of Mr. Kershaw. There's uh, Legends in the Making, Nolan Arenado. Eddie Rosario. Alex Bregman. Jason Kippins, Kipnis. Hunter Pence. So, I think, I don't, put it this way, I don't think I missed any other rookie cards. Um, I'm just going through this real quickly again, double checking myself. I really like getting rookie cards, but. Uh, okay, so this one, I think the best card out of this one, got to be that future Hall of Famer, right? Has to. Mr. Clayton Kershaw of the World Championship Los Angeles Dodgers. I'm going to put the 35th anniversary card next. Oops, come on, stay, stay. Then Francisco Mejia and Dylan Peters. Why? Because I went in alphabetical order. <laughs> Okay, let's see, I've got four packs now of <clears throat> Bowman Platinum 2018. There are four cards in each one. It would have been nice if those were my, were my uh, autograph card. Well, there's Max Scherzer. Nice card. I don't I don't actually know if I have this product. I'm 99% sure I don't. Hunter Renfro. Chris Archer. I hate when the names are upside down or vertical. Isaac Padres. Just going to check because I have no idea what would be numbered, what wouldn't be numbered, I have no clue. Because I'm looking at these and I see, okay, so this has, no, nah, it doesn't really matter. Never mind. Okay. I think I figured that out. Nothing of anything of real importance there. Next one. Next pack. Evan Longoria. Nice cards. 
I think, personally. Will Myers. Billy Hamilton. And Nikki Lopez. Next pack, four cards. Chris Sale, Aaron Judge. Oh, an upside down card. That could be cool. Sean Murphy. And it's Brendan McKay. Okay, it's a Prismatic Prodigies card of Brendan McKay. That's a nice looking card. Uh, it's not numbered, so it's an insert. I don't know the numbers on this as far as the odds, but oh, had my heart going. Thought that was going to be a uh, an autograph or something. Since it was upside down, I would have really enjoyed that. So anyway, that's in a card saver right away. So that's got to be one of the better cards out of there. Okay, and final pack for 2018 Bowman, Reese Hoskins, rookie card. That goes out there. Rookie card, Ahmed Rosario. That goes out there. Oh, I was hoping all of them would. Oh, there's Robinson Cano. I think I had that one already. And uh, Mackenzie Mills. Let me go through these one more time. Make sure I didn't miss a rookie in here. Again, it does happen. More than I like. So, did I have two of those? No. So I'm going to have to say, if I'm going to throw one more card out there, I'm going to say it's got to probably be the Max Scherzer. I'm going to throw that out there. Okay? All right. Now, the next pack. And that's my hobby pack. Pinnacle 2013. Eight cards. I don't, I can't even think off the top of my head who a great rookie would be in here, but some sort of a hit would be awesome. Did get a little foil there that uh, seems to be uh, considered a hit in the Bowman Platinum from 2018. Okay, 2013. Zach Grinke. Geez, a little bit. Sorry. Jo Johan Santana. Or Johan. Melky Mesa. Rookie card. Throw that out. Oh, I'm not going to see that. Andrew Werner. Rookie card. Oh, this is a nice card. Oh, look at that. That's a, uh, oh, whatchamacallit, it's one of those acetate cards. Justin Verlander, that's going to be a future Hall of Famer. I don't know if he's going to come back. He's ended up getting Tommy John surgery at his age. I don't, I don't, my gut feeling is I don't think he's going to come back. I don't know if he will or won't, but uh, that's just my gut feeling. That's a pretty nice card. So that's an acetate that was kind of nice. I guess that's from being a hobby pack. Waylon Chen. Prince Fielder. And Steven Strasburg. So, if I can kind of move these up just a tad more, like that, maybe, just maybe, I can fit these 
other cards in here. I could try, right? I can at least try. Okay. And just so you know, this bottom row is going to be the pinnacle. I really only have three cards. That acetate card and these two rookies. Don't really... Th I'm going to... You know, just because there's room. Just because there's room. I got to throw Prince Fielder out there just for the heck of it. Okay? How's that? All right. Now, lastly, here is... It's uh, six cards, including one autograph or relic. So we're going to go from the back to the front. Okay. And I already know who this card is. It is a, a Vlad Guerrero. Go Cup card, opening day. So that's a top opening day, Vlad Guerrero. That's what's on the box. I'm looking at it right here. Should be a, if there's another one in here, it would be a, a Biggio. But we will see. Oh, okay. So, the next one, sorry, off camera, is Kevin Biggio. And it is... Oh, you know something? What is really cool about this? Look at that. It's got little Canadian leaves there. Kevin Biggio. Who else is a possibility on here? I'm looking around on the box. Uh, it's basically all they have. Oh, Trout's possible, so let's go ahead. Well, you can see this one. It is Ken, Mr. Ken Griffey Jr. Opening day. Okay, I gotta find out. Oh, this is Blue Jays, okay. And, uh, that was this this year's. I guess that's 2020. Is that 2020? Has to be, right? All right, I see what it is. This is a team pack. Oops, sorry. Whoa, what was that? Stepped on something. Lourdes Guriel Jr. was a pretty darn good ball player. I'm going to move that pinnacle pack just so I can get him in there. And then... Rando Grishuk from the Blue Jays. So they're all from the Blue Jays. I thought King Griffey Jr. I was wrong. This is uh, Lourdes Guriel Jr. Don't know how I figured that out or filed that up. So, and they've all got the Canadian Leafs on there. So I'm, I don't know if this is a special set. And here is the last card. It is an autograph of, look at this, Mr. Pete Rose. So that is a Pete Rose autograph card. The official Pete Rose baseball card set. Out of Topps Chewing Gum Ink. Uh, I don't see a year on this, so I don't know what year this is. I'm going to have to look it up. Maybe you guys can too, but that's, I think that's a pretty awesome card. It's a Pete Rose autograph card, and I'll tell you, say what you will about him and the gambling and everything. I love Pete Rose. I love the way that guy played. He was all freaking heart. And uh, I'm actually very happy to have a, a, a card. And I know that just where this is going, back home, I've got a case 
ball and bat case. And I have a baseball bat autographed by Mr. Pete Rose. I got that in person. I have a baseball that he autographed, got that in person. And there's a spot for a card. So this card is gonna go in there with those three. So all three will be autographed. This card, the baseball, and a baseball bat uh, with a few inscriptions on there. So I'm telling you, I think this was pretty good. So I'm also going to tell you the price of this. Think about what do you think this was? And remember, we still got this little big league toy. Two of these fat heads, which are not cheap. I'll tell you that. 2013 tradables. I don't know who's in there, but those aren't cheap. And this 10-inch plush toy. Okay. That was roughly with with tax, I think it was $33, okay, Canadian. So take off about uh, 20% and uh, that is, uh, take off six bucks from 33, that's 28 bucks. Oh, that's my dog, sorry. He saw, saw somebody come up the driveway. Anyway, that was about $28. That's not so bad, really. I mean, uh, I don't know what the Pete Rose autograph itself goes for. Uh, but, it, and then you've got the little plush toy. That's probably another $5. You've got these that are probably about 10, I don't know, five, 10 bucks. Hobby packs, you got all the packs that I went through. And uh, I think that was pretty good. So I'm really happy that, uh, I, I think I got my value out of this for 30, you know, 33 Canadian or about 28 uh, US. That's including the tax. I, I think I got my value out of this. So let me know what you guys think, okay? Uh, do you think I got the value uh, out of this box? I do. I'm thinking I'll go back and buy a couple more of these and see what happens. Um, if you don't, uh, let me know that too. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please make your subscriptions public so you can be eligible for any giveaways. Uh, really in, uh, be happy if you could like the video and also leave a comment. And like I said, what do you think? Did I get the uh, value out of this? Again, I think so. Um, what was your favorite card out of this whole thing? And go ahead and let me know, okay? Thanks very much for uh, watching. And again, one last time, don't forget, 250 subscribers. I'm only 18 away. Come on, get your friends to subscribe. 218 subscribers, and they're going to get both of these cards. A winner, will, one winner will get both of these cards. So get on it. Get your friends to subscribe. I just need 18 more, and then we're moving up. Okay? Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy your Halloween. And uh, let's be good to each other. Thanks.